Hey guys, it's Patience. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my sister, Mickey, and we are doing a CU CSU college showdown. So we're just going to talk about our college experiences, the college campus, and like parties, stuff like that. And we just figure out which college is better. You want to talk about how yourself? Hi, I'm Michaela. I'm a freshman at CU Boulder and I'm studying computer science. Okay, I'm Patience. I'm a third year um, junior at CSU and I'm studying neuroscience. So the first question is, why did you choose to go to your college? I primarily chose CU because of their computer science program mm -hmm. uh, compared to CSU, so it just seemed like a better option for me. And I also got a lot more scholarships from CU Boulder than I did from CSU. I chose CSU because um, it was cheaper for me to go to CSU instead of Boulder and because my friend Ma'ab was going to CSU and I wanted to room with her. That was the main reason <laughs> why I chose to go to CSU. So the second question is, how expensive is the town? How are the people of the town? How is the campus? And just like daily life living in that town. So Boulder for my sister and Fort Collins for me. Well, the campus for C Boulder is super pretty. Um, I guess the one thing was all the buildings on campus like mostly look the same. So it was really hard navigating um, the place when I first got there. But like, it's super pretty. The aesthetic is like really nice. But right next to the mountains, the flat irons. So the people, the locals are super friendly as well as the students, um, as far as I know right now. Well, since I was a freshman this year and we're required to be um, living in the dorms, I didn't really like scope out how expensive the town is in general. But like, I was kind of looking at apartments going into my sophomore year and it's a bit pricey if you're looking <laughs> for something really nice, honestly. Uh, for me, CSU, the first time I was driving into Fort Collins, I was like, this is a village, like, what? what is this? But um, obviously campus is very pretty. We also have mountains, not as close to the mountains as Boulder, but there are mountains and the campus is very pretty. The buildings do not look the same, but they don't look like CU. Okay. Even, and, okay, wait, <laughs> even though our buildings look the same, like they still look nice. And oh, we're also a super eco-friendly um, like town or city. Or, so is, um, well, I, I don't know about the town, but I know CSU has um, eco-leaders that in each dorm try to like help us recycle and stuff. But going back to Fort Collins, the town, I don't think the town is that expensive. Um, go out quite a bit um, after I got a car and it's just regular old town. There's a Walmart, there's thrift stores. Uh, old Town, Old Town is the place to be on the weekends. There's pretty lights, it's like Instagram, Instagram rule, it's really nice. And yeah, I think the town people they're okay. I mean, it's mostly white town. You do get strange looks at times, especially when I was a freshman, but I mean, you'll get over it. And the campus, for the most part, is good, so. The third question is, how are your classrooms, your professors, and do you think um, you're actually getting an education at your school? For me, um, so I've had a wide range of classes. I've had classes that had like less than 30 people and classes where it's like 300 plus. I don't mind large lectures because I would rather take an exam than write a paper because you can finesse an exam. <laughs> but you can't finesse a paper. So I don't really mind the classes. I've had really good professors. Actually, I don't think I've, ever, I've had a bad professor, but I do know some people that have had like really, I guess, straight up racist encounters with their own professors. For me, I don't mind um, the setup of the classrooms or the lectures. I think I'm getting a pretty good education, except for OCHEM, KCHEM department. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm basically teaching. It's, it's whatever, but yeah. <laughs> so since I'm a freshman, like I only have a scope of professors I've had this semester and last mm. semester. So far, all my professors have been like really good. Um, they actually care about what they're teaching and you know, they're able to teach it well. So like I've learned pretty well in all my classes. Well, last semester I took calc, physics, and my um, intro to comp sci class. And I guess those are all pretty large lectures, but honestly people like start to stop going to the lectures after a while. So like it was just <laughs> like a pretty normal yeah. size. 200, 100. It dwindles down. Yeah, it dwindles <laughs> down. And also class sizes don't really matter to me. Like 
I still get the same education because the preferences are so good. Uh, this semester, I guess my class sizes are a bit smaller because I took classes that were more specified or geared towards my major. Yeah, going back to the OCAM thing, I, I, well, for my smaller classes, I know my professors really care, especially um, any comp or um, calc, anything like that. That is a small class you get to know your professors really care. But uh, I'm not gonna bash the chem department, but it's like they have professors that have been doing this for so long that they forget that they've been doing this longer than I've been alive and they think you're supposed to know it as well as they do. I don't know if that's like a me thing, but that is that is something that when you take a larger class, you have to like consider is they go a lot faster and they assume you know stuff that you might not even know. Now for the fun part, parties. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know why you're making that face because we, hmm? you, why are you making that? Why are you just, as far as my parents know, I do not go to parties. She does. So how are the parties, um, like dorm parties, off-campus parties, how is the party life of the campus? I never attended any frat parties, so I cannot speak on that, um, but they seemed pretty wild. Um, Miss Rona, can I cut that short? I could have gone to one maybe this month, I don't know. Miss um, Rona. <laughs> parties I went to, they were pretty cool. It's like, there were smaller parties, like people you know. In the basically. dorms? No, 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 I didn't go to any dorm parties. Yeah. <laughs> no. no? It was like house parties. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the house parties were nice. Did anybody try to get you to eat cocaine? No. Oh. Well, let me tell you, CSC was lit. Uh, my freshman year, I live in Corbett, gang gang, and let me tell you, Corbett is the place to be if you're trying to be at CSU, but just know that your education does come first. Just remember that. But yeah, dorm parties are lit. <laughs> just don't get caught with the RA because you will be written up. Um, don't clean your bottles in the dorms. That makes sense. Don't, don't do that. That doesn't make any sense. Um, don't leave your door open when you're having a party in the dorm. When I lived off campus, it was lit too, because that's when you can have people actually over. But if that gets too loud, um, you do call the police. And <laughs> that's not fun either. You get a fine. Try registering. I know CSC, we have this thing where you can register your party so that it's less likely to get shut down. Yeah. <laughs> you can register your party, but um, just know that they'll have it on, I guess police will have it on the radar, but if it, is, if it does get out of control, you can still get them that. Um, CSU's lit, I'm gonna let you know that. Period. Next topic or next question is college boys. <laughs> Michaela, start us off. Why me? <laughs> <laughs> um, are they cute boys there? Are there, you know, how is the CSU, I can't, CSU, how is the CU, I can't be like, are they nice to look at? Hmm. Well, the African-American boys. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> um, honestly, I'm going to be honest. I was not looking at that when I was there because I have like a, okay. I don't want to expose you about the lie. Okay. She's thinking a... about her lot, you know. <laughs> exactly. I have a certain type, and I feel like I probably didn't see that there. Mm. Minus a few exceptions. Mm -hmm. So there are some good ones. But like people outside of your type, did you find any of those people cute or like, you know, a wide range of cuteness in the people that are yeah. outside your type? Yeah. Yeah, she likes them all. I don't know why she's fronting. <laughs> Anywho, CSU is full of eye candy. Let me let y'all know, okay? From the football team to the smart dudes is The wonderful. football team doesn't win though. We should have asked about okay. that. Okay, <laughs> yeah, we should talk about that. <laughs> Whatever. They are great to look at, but they're not relationship material. Don't go to college, right? Thinking you're gonna meet the man of your dreams and get Some married. Some of them are pretty cool, so. Yeah, but don't have that accept like expectation of meeting Prince Charming and getting married after college because that's, they just, no. It's not impossible. It's, I, yeah, Michaela, gosh. Anyways, but yeah, CSU got great eye candy from the African-Americans <laughs> to the Africans 
to even the white boys. Even. Yeah, I know. <laughs> white boys, they're cute. So, I mean, it is what it is. They good looking, they good. It is what it is. If they good looking, they good looking. Period. Okay. Now, the most, the other most important part, the football team. <laughs> or like just games and sports. So, our football team, I would say is the best. We usually lose to see you at our Rocky Mountain Showdown. But, I mean, we have great spirit. Like, the school is really supportive. People be paying thousands of dollars to come and watch these people lose. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but it's always lit. It's always fun. The campus is very supportive. People are always wearing gear. Alumni are always coming out and just spending money on the bus and having fun. Yeah, our football team, I guess it's, we're pretty stacked. I I honestly need to go to like more games mm -hmm. or something like that's my goal mm -hmm. for sophomore year and like my other years because freshman year like I just kind of stuck to what I knew like I don't really like sports yeah, kinda, yeah. and so, so I was like I probably want to enjoy myself but it seemed like a really good time at all the games so mm -hmm. but to add our volleyball team our girls volleyball team is excellent Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you're into volleyball, if you're into any of those other sports, even football, because um, I have a cousin, he's on a football team, he's a D1, I'm pretty sure he's a D1, <laughs> and he's on a scholarship there, and it, I mean, you could be losing, but you're getting your tuition paid for, yeah. and you're playing in college, and if you're the best on a losing team, you might get... Well, I don't know yeah, if that works. Well. I don't know how drafting <laughs> works. Or do they... Anyways, it's just a great vibe at CSU. Even if we're losing, we're partying, period. But now that we've talked about, I guess, like the school and the um, classrooms, we're gonna talk about clubs, extracurricular activities, and just, yeah, other things that are not educational. So we have many clubs from the Neuroscience Club, which I tried to be a part of, but it wasn't really for me, to um, AU Africans United, which is the best on that campus, period, okay? And um, yeah, I know there's also an orchestra that I should have joined, but I didn't because I honestly don't have time. But there's a wide range of things. I don't know if there's like something that's not there. They have, I know um, even in my dorm, they started Survivor, like a Survivor watch party. Oh. Yeah, so it was great. I totally forgot that one of the reasons actually why I um, decided to go to Boulder, I was at the club lists or like the clubs. And a Survivor Club was one of the things there. I was like, I need to go there. <laughs> to the but then I club. went to the um, like the welcome mm -hmm. fest thing. Where, like all the clubs were there. And, like I guess it's not a thing anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I was so bummed. Oh, but yeah, it just reminded me. Like that was the, one of the main reasons. I was like, yeah. I need to go there. <laughs> How about um, the other clubs? And so I was in, I guess, three main clubs. Yeah, more or less, because I couldn't really, there were some, like, conflict with my time, like, mm -hmm. with my exams, so I couldn't go to certain clubs all the time, mm -hmm. but I was mainly in NSBE, which is the National Society of Black Engineers. Uh, she thinks she's smart. Okay. Black Student Alliance, and the African Students Association. Yeah, I was, I think I was, mo I was mostly involved in NSBE, though, which, like, I was kind of surprised about, like, I was not thinking about joining NSBE <laughs> before attending college, yeah, but... They're really nice clubs to get involved with. Now let's talk about the dining hall, the food, the dorms, and like the, I guess the bathrooms and stuff like that. So I guess dorm life, basically. Um, dorm life for me was pretty good. Like I went into CU being a German club. I just kind of been that way my whole life, honestly. Mm -hmm. But like I did pretty, I held up pretty well. So that should say a lot. Um, the dorms, at least the ones that I got put in, were really nice. AC, like the rooms were pretty big. I had a community bathroom. It could get a bit um, hairy sometimes, but like it was fine. Certain I demographic. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> but like it's something I could deal with. We have like a main dining center called the C4C, um, like where everybody on main campus kind of goes. Um, there are little markets that you can use munch money for. Um, there's also the Village Center, which I uh, probably should mention that there's Williams Village, which is in a part of main campus. It's like about maybe 10 minutes away. Um, and they have their own dining hall, which is also pretty nice. I've eaten there a couple times. And I know there's one more, Sewell, 
which I never went to, mm -hmm. so I, I can't speak on that. Um, but overall, the food is pretty nice, so. But I will add, it can get a bit tiring, honestly, after a while. And I don't know, I, when I went to visit um, my sister at CSU, like before I went to college, for some reason, the food there tastes better to me than at CU. I just gotta put that out there. Period. Um, <laughs> for me, my freshman year, like I said, I lived in Corbett, gang gang, and we had suite style dorms. So we had um, two dorms that would share one bathroom. So four people to one bathroom. And I liked that, it was fun. Um, we didn't have air conditioning in our um, room. So we had fans, but we had a pretty large room because of like the bathroom being um, in between us. And we had a sink in our room. We had to have fans because of how hot it got, but we had a heater. And it's a pretty nice building. This year, or before whatever, last semester, I was an RA at Ingersoll, and that's a community style bathroom. And that room was a lot bigger, but one thing I hated about community style bathroom is that there's no sink in your room. So even if you wanna hot wash your hands, you have to go to the bathroom to wash your hands, which I hated that. Honestly, community style is not for me. I am definitely moving back to off-campus apartments next year. Now talking about food, I love dorm food. I really do. Freshman year, I gained, I don't even know what, 10, 15 pounds, girl, I got <laughs> thick. Because the food there is good, like at least for me, and almost every every um, dorm, almost every dorm has um, like their own dining hall with diverse like stations, Italian, um, like Chinese. Sometimes they have, what's it called? Like, um, I know I went to one of the dining halls and they had like a Mardi Gras, Kind of thing and i had the best which is unbelievable what's it called clams they were so good but yeah the food is pretty good okay so now that we've talked about our schools mm -hmm. let us know which one y'all think is better because obviously we're better so it's <laughs> green and gold is it green and gold or green and white i don't even know what i didn't know green? my colors either <laughs> i it? thought it's um off okay it's probably obvious right now, but it's gold and black. I, I don't know. Gold and brown. Me too. Like I could have sworn, like we went to Thomas Jefferson High School, oh, yeah, and our colors were gold and brown. I could have sworn somebody said that we had the same colors at CU. CU. So like this whole time I was thinking that our colors at CU were brown oh, and gold, yeah. but I got corrected a few weeks ago. It's it's black and gold. So, <laughs> anyways, let us know down in the comments what um, university or college you go to and where you're from, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content. Thanks, Miki, for coming.